As the clock struck midnight on September 15, 2024, a mix of emotions swirled around Prince Harry as he celebrated his 40th birthday. What should have been a day filled with joy and laughter quickly descended into chaos when a seemingly innocent gift from an old flame, Chelsea Davy, triggered a storm of feelings that left him in tears. In the background, Meghan Markle's fury simmered, setting the stage for a dramatic narrative that captivated the world. What led to this emotional upheaval? And what does it mean for the couple's already tumultuous relationship? But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. The morning began with a surprise delivery, a beautifully wrapped box adorned with a simple card reading, Happy Birthday, Harry. Always thinking of you. Inside was a stunning piece of jewelry, a delicate bracelet that had once belonged to Chelsea. For Harry, it was a poignant reminder of their past, a time filled with youthful romance and carefree adventures. While the gift was intended as a sweet gesture, it quickly spiraled into a complex web of emotions. As Harry held the bracelet in his hands, memories flooded back, laughter, late-night conversations, and a love that, despite its end, had shaped part of his identity. But what was meant to be a nostalgic moment turned into a painful reflection on his current life. Meghan Markle, who has often been in the spotlight for her tumultuous relationship with the British royal family, found herself grappling with a mix of emotions upon discovering the gift. Having faced scrutiny and comparisons throughout her marriage to Harry, the last thing she wanted was to be reminded of his past relationships, especially one as significant as Chelsea Davy. As Harry tried to explain the significance of the bracelet, Meghan's emotions boiled over. Why now? She asked, her voice rising. Why would she send this? What message is she trying to convey? It was a question that hung in the air, heavy with implications. Meghan's insecurities were exacerbated by the media's relentless coverage of the couple's life. Reports of Harry's emotional struggles and the ongoing speculation about his relationship with Meghan only added fuel to the fire. The couple had worked hard to carve out a new life away from the royal spotlight, but incidents like this threatened to pull them back into a narrative they had desperately tried to escape. As the day continued, Harry's emotional state became increasingly fragile. Friends and family had gathered for what was meant to be a joyful celebration, but the atmosphere was thick with tension. The usual laughter and merriment were overshadowed by the palpable strain between Harry and Meghan. During dinner, Harry's mind was elsewhere. He excused himself from the table, seeking solace in the garden. There, under the stars, he reflected on his life choices, his relationships, and the burden of being a royal. The weight of his past and present collided, leaving him feeling isolated and overwhelmed. Megan, sensing his distress, attempted to reach out. Harry, we need to talk about this, she urged, her voice softer now, but still laced with frustration. Yet he remained distant, unable to articulate the storm brewing inside him. In the days following the birthday debacle, the media seized on the story, spinning it into a sensational narrative. Headlines blared about Meghan's fury and Harry's tears, painting a picture of a couple on the brink of collapse. Speculation ran rampant. Was this the end of their marriage? Would Harry rekindle his relationship with Chelsea? The couple had become accustomed to media scrutiny, but this time felt different. The focus on Harry's emotional state struck a nerve, bringing forth discussions about mental health, the pressures of royal life, and the complexities of navigating personal relationships in the public eye. As the dust settled, Harry found himself at a crossroads. The emotional turmoil from his birthday forced him to confront his past and the unresolved feelings that lingered. He began to reflect on what the bracelet truly represented not just a connection to Chelsea, but a reminder of who he was before the royal duties consumed him. In the weeks that followed, Harry sought therapy to help unpack his emotions. It became clear that the past wasn't just a series of memories. It was a part of him that needed acknowledgement and understanding. The journey was not easy, but with professional help, he began to navigate his feelings understanding that it was okay to cherish the past while still committing to his present and future with Megan. 